For today's video, I'm just going to go over some of my preferred bullets and why. And one particular line of bullets that I'm not a big fan of and why I don't care so much for it. This all has to do with bullet after impact. If they don't shoot accurately out of your gun, they're not a good option. Accuracy needs to come first, but what the bullet does after impact is equally as critical. Here we have the terminal ascent, the Acubon long range, and a trophy bonded tip. With the terminal ascent, the high velocity impacted at 3161 feet per second, went through both my gel blocks, one milk jug, and into another for over 40 inches of total penetration. The low velocity one, I captured in my second gel block at 27 and a half inches of penetration, still giving me great permanent wound cavity, and it was traveling 1,802 feet per second on impact. The Acubond long range, my high velocity load impacted at 3,047 feet per second with just over 23 inches of penetration. My low velocity one here impacted at 1,736 feet per second with 29 inches of penetration. And then my trophy bonded tip, the high velocity load, hit at just over 2,800 feet per second, penetrated 28 and a half inches. The low velocity one did create great permanent wound cavity, but veered up and out the top of my second block after 24 inches of penetration, it had impacted at 1,829 feet per second. And going over these, what I really like, the design. I like a bullet that if I'm in a situation where I have to take the, a close shot, well within 100 yards. I've even taken shots at 15 to 20 yards. I need a bullet that holds together and does not grenade. All three of these do an excellent job at it. The Federal Premium line of bullets do the best job. The Terminal Ascents do perform at the lower velocity a little bit better than the Trophy Bonded Tips. And I do believe it is all in that design of that hollow pocket behind that tip. When that tip hits that resistance of the animal's hide, it's crushing that pocket, causing that bullet to open up. Maybe it doesn't get down into the lead good mushrooming, but it still pedals back, creates extensive tissue damage. Excellent bullet. Um, and then... I really think part of what aids in that is when it does crush, you got these little cuts here that really help it to open up at that lower velocity. And I believe that's why these consistently open a little better at lower velocity than the Acubon long ranges for me. They, with that solid tip, it's not crushing in the same fashion. The hollow pocket in here, I de believe is definitely helping it. And then that thin jacket getting thicker like it does allows for it to come apart more and it doesn't get as good a penetration as the uh, ascents or the trophy bonded tips um, where the trophy bonded tip does not have that air pocket in here and these do require just that little bit more velocity to get them to open all excellent bullets I absolutely love them they allow me to take that really high velocity close range shot and still know I'm going to harvest the animal without just destroying it and yet still work quite well at lower ranges. Other bullets that do still work okay at close range and have a reputation for doing really well at longer range are your burger line of bullets. But I'll go over some of the reasons I'm not a big fan. 
there's what happens with roughly 3,000 feet per second on impact with the 185 grain Elite Hunter. Not even a true 15 inches of penetration and lots of lead dust. This is why I don't like this bullet. Will it drop game? Absolutely. It destroys more of what I want to eat. I don't want to eat bloodshot, let alone potentially lead. Primary reason I don't like them. They do drop game. They do work well. If you like them and want to use them, use them. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just going over why I don't like them. Then, with burger bullets, I got a few decent examples from different bullets I've shot here. The Media Plat does absolutely nothing to open the bullet. When they start to tumble, if they have enough velocity, they grenade and they drop game. Most of them need 2,000 plus feet per second to consistently come apart. At lower velocities, this guy actually created quite the beautiful permanent wound cavity because of how it tumbled. So, you know, they're an okay hunting bullet. They do drop game. I don't like them because of the way they come apart. They destroy what I want to eat. You know, some people say there's no such thing as too dead. Well, duh. There's dead or it's not. But there is wanted waste. And if I were to use these, for me personally, it would be wanted waste. And I don't use them. The only way I would ever use a burger is if I can't get any of these to shoot accurately out of a rifle but I can a burger then I'd use it elsewise I just stay away from them these bullets I like for the reasons I explained you're not going to be in a situation where these bullets aren't going to perform the way you need them to regardless of whether it's that close range high velocity or longer range low velocity. These are the only bullets I've tested and used that work good for both. Most bullets that work really good for long range grenade and do this kind of stuff at close range and aren't a good close range bullet. And then most bullets that can handle those really really high impact velocities tend to need over 2,000 feet per second to really consistently mushroom and so it's really hard to find the best of both worlds but I'd have to say with my experience in the field and with the test I've done again I haven't harvested anything in the field with the terminal ascent yet but looking at its performance it does almost identical in gel to what the trophy bonded tips do. That would be my number one choice for taking extreme long range shots over six, seven hundred yards and yet still trusting that bullet regardless of how high my muzzle velocity is. I really like these uh, Acubon long ranges by Nosler. I have had that over fragmentation and under penetration for what I like to see out of them. As you can see, all that's really left of that bullet, the lead only because it's bonded in that heavy copper base. I would really like to see these two guys get together and have a baby about right in between their performances and you would have pretty well the ultimate all range within practical distances hunting bullet hope you guys enjoy the video